Hello everyone, today I'm going to quickly show you how to set up your ambient occlusion in your post processing volume. So, with a post processing volume already in the scene, it should default it to 0.5 and just an averaged out radius of your um, ambient occlusion. So, I'm going to show you how to mess with your ambient occlusion today. So, let's close up what I've got. So, if you want to, first you need a post processing volume in your scene. Again, if you don't know how to do this, just write in post, drag it in and then you can just scale this up to cover the entire scene because if it's um, you can have several post processing volumes and you can have a more sort of small per room so when you walk into a room it will change the effect but we want it to affect the whole scene so we just drag it out or you have it so it affects the entire scene so I already have a post processing volume so if I just come up here and write post I can click on the one that already exists if we come into the post processing, post -processing volume come down to post process volume here click settings you get a bunch of settings come up and I've explained how to do use a few of them in other tutorials um, but we're going to look at ambient occlusion today so just come down here where it says ambient occlusion click in there and I have mine set to a certain amount because I thought it works better for my scene and again explain the last video I'm using my apartment I made for my project because it would it's a bit easier to explain how it's working and it just really shows it off a bit better so if we just like for example look at some of the um, cups and stuff on the shelves if I turn the intensity all the way down you see all of the ambient occlusion comes down if I just look at anything actually even like the gaps in between here you can see if I turn it down it's just going to take all the ambient occlusion away and it's just not going to have any sort of natural shading in the areas so you can mess with that as much as you want I have mine at the strongest value just because I thought it looked better this I can't actually remember what it does because I never saw much of an effect but the other one we're going to look at is radius so intensity and radius in my opinion are the two important ones and even quality you can mess with to make it better or worse and you, you've even got bias which sort of can make it add more but we're not going to look into that we're just going to look into intensity and radius so if I come in put my quality back up if I come into radius you can if I look at something you can um, see if I turn it up it's going to spread out that ambient occlusion a lot more so it's going to sort of smear it across the entire object and it for example in the oven there's not too much shading on it because it's a lot more tighter spaces and if we come here but if I were to turn that all the way down you can get make it real tight so that way I think all smaller crevices and things um, will be highlighted a bit better but again you're not going to have there's like no shading behind um, some of the items now because it's too tight so you can mess around with that and get the value you want and I think I mess I think I had it around 97 or something and you get 96 and that was the value I wanted so yeah just looking into that it's just intensity so you can turn that up and down and radius so I want to show you today these tutorials are mainly just to show you that these options are here because at the end of the day it's all personal preference thank you very much for watching I hope this helped and bye bye